Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're actually going to be building something that I haven't built on the channel in probably, I don't even know how many months, but we're going to be building a base game only home today and this is actually two base game homes and they're, they're technically on, they're obviously on the same lot. So technically it's like one home because you can't have multi-purpose or multi-family lots in this game unfortunately but basically we're, bu we're building two like shotgun style homes and ba I basically bought them because I know Willow Creek where I bought them there Willow Creek is actually supposed to be inspired by New Orleans in the US as far as I'm aware I believe some one of the developers have actually said that before so New Orleans is basically it's one of the cities in the US obviously duh but basically there's a lot of buildings in this style, in this like shotgun style. And obviously this isn't totally accurate because it's The Sims and you can't build completely accurate builds in The Sims. It's just not possible. <laughs> but I tried to make it as kind of close as I could get it in The Sims with what we have to work with. Especially because I was only working with the base game. So there's obviously a few things that I would have loved to have like love to have had like the strangeable windows for example and the strangeable doors as well and the columns and stuff like that they all work really well for this style of build and a few other things that I can't think of from the top of my head but yeah there are a few things obviously that would have worked better than the things that I ended up using but obviously we're only working with base game so this is just base game and the free holiday pack which I technically do count as being part of the base game because it's free and literally anyone can download it. You don't have to like pay for it or anything like that. So yeah, technically I do count it as part of the base game. It's kind of like an update for the base game. Like they've added in the Caribbean update and I can't remember the other updates at the moment. But yeah, so like the updates with the Caribbean update, the freelancer updates, stuff like that. It's basically an update, it's basically a stuff pack in the form of free content, if that makes sense. But anyway, I do count that as part of the base game, so I do end up using it in this build. I end up using quite a few of the candles from that pack, and I believe some like string lights in one of the bedrooms as well, so yeah. It will show that it uses that pack on the gallery, but you probably all have it anyway, so I don't even know why I'm mentioning it. But yeah, so these are two homes, obviously. One of them is a little two-story house. It's actually a family home. And then the other one is basically just for either a single sim or a couple. But it's just one bedroom. So the small one-story house is just one bedroom, one bathroom. Really like open living room, kitchen area. And then the other home, which is the two-story one. That one is actually a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bathroom house. So we've moved on to the interior of the bigger build. So this is the two-story home, this is the kitchen that we're working on right now, and you guys will see there's a little like half bathroom like right next to the kitchen off of the dining room. Now I didn't put a shower or anything like in like anything like that in that bathroom because I thought it would technically function as a bathroom slash laundry room. But obviously because I didn't have the laundry day pack installed, I couldn't add any laundry machines or anything like that, but you could easily just remove one of the counters or something or just shuffle the toilet around a little bit and be able to fit in a washer and a dryer in that bathroom. It's very big for only being like a half bathroom. But I built when I built when I built the floor when I built the house, what am I saying? When I built the house and I did the floor plan, I was technically thinking about having it be a laundry room slash half bathroom. And then only when I went in to furnish it did I remember that, oh no, I can't do that because I'm not using laundry day. So yeah, that was fun. But yeah, now you have this really big room that just has a toilet and a sink in it. So that's kind of sad. But anyway, I digress. And then upstairs we have a master bathroom, a master ensuite. And then we also have a Jack and Jill bathroom that the other two bedrooms both have access to. So I thought that those would be the, like the two kids' rooms. And then obviously the parents have a master bathroom. 
But I did have a little bit of an in more interesting or different storyline or family dynamic in mind for this, for the family that I thought would live here. So I did think that instead of being raised by their parents, the teenager and the child would actually be raised by their grandparents. So I did think that there would be a pair of grandparents or maybe a single grandparent or whatever living in this house. That's why a lot of the furniture in this build is very dated looking. It's some of the older looking furniture that came with the base game and obviously, obviously since it is just the base game you're kind of limited on styles that you can go for because the base game really only has a very traditional style of furniture that, like the ones I'm going to be using and then it has some very modern furniture. There's no like in between regular like family style stuff so yeah it's really kind of hard to do a lot of different aesthetics when it comes and a lot of different styles when it comes to doing just the base game at least for me anyway I know a lot of builders are really awesome at building with just the base game and they have all of their builds looking completely different and very unique and you'd never guess that they were just using the base game but unfortunately I'm just not that creative so yeah it's a very kind of grandparents looking build the interior of this build and of the like bigger house and then the other house the smaller one is also very dated looking in the like flooring and wallpapers and all of that and a lot of the furniture in that build is very dated as well but I did have an idea in my head for the sim that I thought would live there and in the little, in the smaller house, I thought they'd be, they'd be like an artist or something like an artist or a designer or something like that living there. And they bought, or not bought the house, but they're like renting the house. And they rented it with it already being furnished. So the house already came with a bunch of older furniture. So some of like the couches or like the counters or, you know, bookcases, random stuff like that are all very like dated and older looking but they've gone in and they've brought in their own things or they've bought some new stuff over the years or over the time that they've lived there and yeah so the bed is a little bit more modern and the dresser is more modern and you know a modern chair there or something like that so yeah I thought they might be slowly updating it as they're buying their new stuff maybe they just relocated here you know, maybe they just moved to Willow Creek from I don't know, one of the worlds that are really far away. <laughs> and they like didn't have like space to bring their furniture with them or they maybe sold all of all of their old furniture and they got this place like pre-furnished and now they're just slowly adding to it as you know they're saving more money or as they're like settling in more or something like that. So yeah, I did kind of go all out for like that storyline, but not really for this house. But yeah, I hope you guys like how this build turned out. I mean, it's not super interesting, it's not super revolutionary or anything like that, but I really like the way it turned out. I had a lot of fun building it. I just sat down one night and I don't know why I started building this particular house. I think I was looking at a bunch, yeah, I was looking at a bunch of New Orleans inspired builds and building styles that you would find around the New Orleans area because I was thinking about doing something in Willow Creek. And I, was, I came across this really cute picture of a shotgun house right next to another one. And it was actually a two-story shotgun house with a smaller one-story one next to it, like this build. And yeah, it really inspired me to try and do this particular build. So yeah, I'll try and remember if I can to find a like link to the Pinterest picture that I was looking at. But honestly, I didn't bookmark it or anything, so... <laughs> Yeah, I probably won't be able to find that picture, but just Google like New Orleans style houses and it should pop up. It's one of like the first pictures that pop up actually. So yeah, we've moved on to the kids bedrooms in this build and one of them I thought that would be a little bit more like a little bit more modern, a little bit more renovated. And it, I thought this one would be for a teenager. Maybe they've obviously, maybe they've just moved in with their grandparents for whatever reason. And I mean also because the kids bedroom doesn't fit the overall house aesthetic either. Like the older more dated look. So maybe they just moved in with their grandparents for you know whatever reason. 
and they've all their grandparents have gone and bought them all new furniture or maybe this is the stuff that came from their old house or something like that or maybe they're adopted maybe they've just gotten adopted by the older couple that live here or something like that and yeah maybe they're you know maybe they're orphans and they've just gotten adopted so they've obviously gotten brand new furniture or whatever storyline you guys want to come up with but yeah, the teenager's room is definitely a bit more modern looking and I thought the teenager that lived there would be very into sports and music and gaming. So they do have like a gaming laptop and like it, stuff like that. Just regular teenage, I say in air quotes, things. And then you have the kids room which we're working on right now. It's not really like gender specific because obviously colors don't have genders but anyway it's a bit more like gender neutral I guess so it's very orange it does have some blue but there's a lot of fun colors in this room and I included an art like an art table a dollhouse I didn't include like a toy box or anything but there's a bunch of random toys all over the place that the kid can play with and I thought the kid that lives here would be very into dinosaurs so I do put a few dinosaur decals on the walls and everything. I think, yeah, I was inspired by the bedspread. So, yeah, and I've actually never used the dinosaur decals. I've used the bunnies and, like, the clouds and everything, but never the dinosaur ones. So, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And they obviously share the bathroom with their older sibling. And now moving on to the backyard. The backyard isn't all that big at all. There's basically a grill, a seating area, a monkey gym, like a monkey bars, and that's it. But yeah, the, like the backyards for both of these builds aren't really all that big because the builds are very long and they're the, like the whole lot is only a 30 by 20 lot. So there isn't all that much space to work with anyway. And right now you guys will just see me changing up the colors of the build because yeah, I just, I wasn't liking the way it was looking originally. And it was looking a little bit too similar to a build that my friend Miss Griffey actually did quite a while ago by now it it's definitely was still in this year but I can't remember the exact date but it was looking way too similar to a build that she did and yeah I obviously didn't want to make it look like I was just copying her build which obviously she knows I wasn't doing that I doing that I've talked to her about it but yeah so she knows I wasn't copying her build or anything but it was just looking way too similar for me as well so yeah, I did just change up the colors and everything like that on the exterior. But yeah, we've moved on to the second little house that we have to work on. And this whole like lot is on the gallery. If you guys want to download it, it's up on the gallery under hashtag ChrissyYT. Or you can just go to my gallery ID, which is ChrissyYT as well. And I'll have all of that linked in the description below for you guys. And I'll also have a link to the online gallery website listed down below if that's easier for you to just grab it that way. But basically on the gallery this house is listed as being four bedrooms and four bathrooms because you know three bedrooms one house one bedroom in the other you know the deal. And it's almost 187,000 simoleons so it's very expensive. But considering that it's technically two houses like two completely separate houses it's not all that expensive honestly and obviously because a lot of the base game art and stuff is very expensive so yeah that's probably why the price is a little bit higher than you'd think it would be and that was actually I mean it was fun building with just the base game and it was fun like trying to use items that I probably never would use or items that I've literally just forgotten that they exist because they are part of the base game and I just end up using a lot of other items more frequently than I use base game items. But yeah, it was a lot of fun doing just a base game build. But honestly, I was having such a struggle with trying to pick art with just having the base game. Art, plants, rugs and curtains were like the four biggest things that I had you know, that I struggled with, with these builds, because I almost never use the base game rugs. I always use, like, the Parenthood rug, or, like, the, um, the Get Famous rug, or the City Living rugs, or something like that, and especially for a more traditional rug, I just, I almost never use the base game ones, and even just having a nice plain rug, I never use the base game for that, so... Yeah, trying to just work with the base game for those things was a bit of a challenge. 
And then obviously when it came to doing the kids rooms as well, I usually love using the kids room stuff back and parenthood and yeah, stuff like that. So it was just, it wasn't difficult building with just the base game. It was just different, I guess. It was weird not having access to all of the things that I'm so used to having access to because when you have everything, when you have all of the packs, you really don't pay attention to what you're using. You just grab your favorite items or you grab whatever you think will like work for whatever you're working on. And that tends to be like basically something from every single pack that we have when I build. So yeah, it was kind of fun and a little bit of a challenge to just go through and try and work with what we have in the base game and make it work and make it not look like super similar to each other and like basically be the same build twice <laughs> on the same lot or anything like that. So yeah, but like I said, if it is if it is something you guys want to download and maybe add to it, maybe renovate it with whatever packs you have, then it is up on the gallery like I said. But yeah, I hope you guys like how this build turned out. I mean, we're almost at the end of the voiceover, so I hope you guys like how this build turned out. If you did, give this video a like. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more Sims content, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. But on the topic of new videos, there's I wanted I wanted to ask you guys, I know I posted a poll about this on my community tab and a lot of you do seem to be interested in seeing something like this. But I recently got Fall Guys and if you guys don't know what Fall Guys, what that game is, Google it because it's everywhere at this point and everyone and their mom seems to be playing it. But basically I recently got Fall Guys and I've been obsessed with it. I love it. It's such a fun, addictive game. And it's so different from the games that I normally play. So I was wondering if you guys would maybe be interested in seeing maybe like a once-off video about the game here on the channel. And if you really like it, then we could do maybe like a part two or something like that. But yeah, I wanted to ask you if you wanted to see a Fall Guys video here on the channel. I don't have a controller at the moment because yes, I am one of those sad people who don't own an Xbox or a PlayStation or anything like that. So... I don't have a controller at the moment, I do play with keyboard and mouse and that's really annoying. So I would probably wait until I can get a controller to play the game with that. And when and hopefully at that point I'll also be a little bit better at the game because honestly I suck. I'm hilariously bad at it. <laughs> but yeah I was wondering if that's something you guys would maybe be interested in seeing later down the line once I can do a video on it. But yeah, let me know down below and I'll also link the community tab post, like poll that I did down below as well. But I hope you're all doing great and that your week has started off great and I will talk to you on my very next video. Bye everyone. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places, makes me laugh. i
见。